Hi everyone, I'm Kartika Ji Naya at Secure All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021 and I am currently pursuing MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. So today I'm going to talk about all the resources and books you'll need for chemistry. So chemistry is one of my favorite subjects and is lies uh, somewhere in between biology and physics and difficulty. And um, it is a very important chapter, I mean the very important subject because the more you invest time in it, the more easier it comes out to be and you'll be able to do things faster on the exam on the day of the examination and when that happens you'll be able to save more time for physics like tum jitna jaldi chemistry solve karoge jitna zyada practice karoge chemistry tum utna jaldi chemistry solve kar paoge and jitna jaldi chemistry solve karoge utna time you can leave for physics so that tum wo questions try kar sakte ho jis jo tum pehli baar mein nahi kar paaye or um, it was difficult for you in first go you can check all the calculations again so chemistry is very important and so let's talk about ki kame konse books and resources use karne hai to be able to score maximum in chemistry. So starting with it, whatever subject it is, when it comes to need exam, one book that we should never forget is the NCRT. So on an average, I would say around 90% of the questions are come directly from NCRT. The remaining 10% are applied from NCRT. So practically all the questions in the examination come from NCRT. The paper is practically linked to you. So all the questions come from NCRT only. Some may be a little difficult or, or we can say applied manner and others are directly from NCRT. So NCRT is the ultimate book for need, whatever the subject is, especially for which division of chemistry. So physical, inorganic, and organic are the three divisions. So if you, if I talk about my revision strategy, I read physical uh, NCRT four or five times, inorganic ten times, and organic around eight times. So this is the order in which you should prefer refer the NCRT for the given subjects. For inorganic, you can guarantee that no question will be coming out of NCRT because. NCRT itself is so vast. There is so much information in NCRT, especially if you see the chapters like P block, DNF block. There are many pages. These are huge chapters with a whole lot of information. Okay. And it is very difficult to, you know, memorize each and every uh, single info that is given in the book. So, NCRT is pretty difficult for inorganic, especially these topics. And they must be covered because they are very important topics. Like, you know, DNF blocks a question hamesha aata hai. And kafi difficult question aata hai, you know, from inside the text and stuff. So, P block, DNF block, bohat important topics hai. And ye bohat detail mein NCRT mein de rakha You need not refer, need not waste time by going for other books. Kya hota hai? In the end, we have so many books. Humne sari information idhar udhar se padh rakhi hai. And jo padhna chahi ta, wohi nahi padha. Because we have this perception ki NCRT mein to kuch hai nahi. Choti si book ke usme kya hai? Bohat easy hota hai. It is so wrong. Because NCRT, when you start understanding NCRT and when you start reading NCRT, you realize that NCRT is an amazing book with a lot of vast, a lot of concepts inside it. Like every line in NCRT has 10 different meanings to it. So when you start reading NCRT with, uh, with that perception in your mind, you realize that NCRT itself is more than sufficient for everything. Especially for inorganic chemistry, just me, nothing is going to come out of NCRT. Why do we, why should we burden ourselves with more information when NCRT itself has a lot of information? Okay. And all the tables very important. There are many tables in P block, S block, D block, F block, whatever. So all these tables, may values to yaad nahi karne, but the order, order of reactions or order of melting point, boiling point, whatever, they have to be remembered because what direct question mein aa hai. And in most of the cases, logic nahi chalta, especially in these topics. So yaad karna hai and for, mem for memorizing, you can use like charts, notes whichever method is comfortable to you any method whatever it is cool then we come to physical chemistry physical chemistry as i said four or five times in crt well people tend to ignore um, physical chemistry in crt because saying that if calculation we will do previous year questions and um and multiple choice questions and we'll be done no because in recent years see the lines ncrt get direct lines a question I have, which cannot be done unless you have not read the ncrt so questions are directly being picked up from the lines so ncrt to padhni padegi four to five times padhni padegi and again there are a lot of tables in 
physical chemistry also. A lot of examples in physical chemistry. We tend to ignore examples, thinking that examples are not but examples are also coming. Like examples of, you know, uh, ideal solution, examples of positive uh, deviation, negative deviation, these are all asked. All these come in the examination and they are di given directly in the NCRT. You, don't, you, don't, you need not remember any other example apart from NCRT. NCRT is enough. Okay, so ye to physical chemistry ke liye ho gaya. and additionally you need to practice a lot of multiple choice questions so that you understand the variation. Ki a, a particular question is suppose a particular formula hai. for example solid state. We take, a, we, we take an example of solid state. Usme we take an example of the number of atoms that can be accommodated in a given um, you know um, unit. So for such questions, you need to solve many variety of the same question. So you will realize ki ha, is question ka aisa bhi form ho sakta hai, aisa bhi form ho sakta hai. Okay, so in that case, you won't be making uh, mistakes in the examination. Like once you've solved each and every possible form of a question, ha, what mistake can you possibly make? Okay, that is about physical chemistry. So you need to solve a lot of questions and of course PYQs. Solve previous year questions at least past 10 years. Past 10 years papers is minimum and must be done. Organic chemistry I read like 8 times. So mainly you will be remembering reactions. Okay. But reactions does, I mean reactions does, just doesn't mean products and reagents. That is so wrong. So reaction, matlab ye ki reaction, reactant product mein That is totally wrong concept. Reactions, there are conditions, pressure, temperature, saturation, and so many small, small bits of information which are written on the arrows on top of that reaction, like X becomes Y. And there is this stuff written over here, which is asked in examinations. This is directly from NCRT. And no other answer will be accepted other than that of NCRT. So again, NCRT to padni padegi. That is like defined. Bahut bar padlo, yaad ho jani chahiye. And common names ki you should make a list and stuff. No need to remember anything that is not an NCRT. And uh, PYQs. Okay. So in the previous year, uh, we have seen that there are some questions which are outside NCRT. For that, you can use uh, the uh, internet as a source to read up about those reactions jo pre pehle, um, previously nahi diye hue the. And in addition to NCRT, for solving numericals, I had used modules for chemistry. Just may we had like um, the questions were divided into multiple sections. Like I had uh, questions from previous year. Previous year question was one section. Difficult question, easy question, NCRT based question, all sort of questions. Which I had done multiple times. And there were a lot of extra points for me to cover in there. So there were some extra points. which are not to be given high priority of course NCRT re receives like should receive 90 percent of your attention but the remaining 10 percent can be divided into these extra points that is just to ensure you hit perfect but do not waste do not run after this you must not sacrifice this running after extra points should not lead you to sacrifice this so NCRT is the ultimate reference you can get an amazing score like out of 180, I'm pretty sure you can easily get 160 or even 170 just by a well thorough preparation of NCRT. The remaining 10 marks, I cannot guarantee because sometimes there are applied aspects of NCRT which may be a little confusing. There are some controversial questions also and there are some questions which come totally outside NCRT. If you know those topics, well and good but otherwise, NCRT is enough for 160 to 170 marks. Also, there are many exercise questions in the back of NCRT. Like after the end of every chapter, there are many exercise questions in there. Some of the questions are pretty confusing and difficult and are based on the concepts which are not given in the text itself. You can read up about those topics because that will also be considered a part of NCRT. So everything in NCRT, NCRT means literally everything like summary, text, um, you know, in between questions. Okay, previous year questions, solved examples, everything has to be done. So that is all about what books and resources you need for studying chemistry. So as I said, NCRT is enough to get a very decent score. For the remaining topics, you might have to read some extra books to, you know, uh, understand a few extra topics. That is to hit for perfection. But that is not highly suggested because in the end, this is that we have to take NCRT lightly, which is not under any circumstance. So, 
NCRT it is. So use NCRT, study NCRT very well, revise it multiple times and you will be done for chemistry. So that's all from my side. I hope you will do well. Thank you.